Hello viewers, welcome to ICSC Board Class 10 Biology Chapter 2. We are with the last part of the question answers. That is the questions that are given at the last part of the chapter and uh, that is after structure of chromosomes. This is question bank 2.2 and we are with the chapter solution. So let us see the first one. So first one says multiple choice question. Genetic material is in the form of very long thick and dark staining and it is called chromatid. I am directly going to the answers because we have already seen this one. Each chromosome consists of two symmetrical structures called again answer is chromatids. Rod shaped chromosomes having centromere at the proximal end. Centromere centromere at the proximal end not at the end proximal is near means near so answer is acrocentric pentosugar phosphate and nitrogenous base together forms the answer is nucleotide let us move on to next part that is part b very short question answers number one true and false if true then no need but false then you have to change the word the incorrect word and rewrite the statement genes are the specific sequence of bases on the chromosome yes it's true cytosine adis, uh, adenine thyroid and guanine are the nitrogen bases of bases in dna the answer is false you require to replace thyroid with thymine cell containing 46 chromosome will have 23 chromatin fibers inside the nucleus during interface the answer is false the interface and all of them are consisting of same number of chromosomes till the cell enters into mitosis or meiosis so answer is 46 chromatin fibers duplication takes place that is correct duplication takes place but they are not separated they are still remaining attached with the centromere number four nitrogenous base along with the sugar and sulfate forms a nucleotide the answer is false instead of sulfate it is phosphate let us move on to see short question answers that is short answer questions what is chromosome chromosome are the thread like structures highly coiled found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cell during cell division bearing genes responsible for the transmission of genetic material from one generation to next define gene gene is a unit of heredity how chromosomes are being important chromosomes bear genetic information that helps in the transmission of genes from one generation to another generation they are the main source of chemical information chemical information that is together information that determines that a cell should become like its parent cell and they give the characteristic feature of the species during development. How sex chromosome of man and woman are different? See, total number of chromosomes are 46. Out of 46, 22 pairs of chromosomes are autosome in both male and female. They are similar. While sex chromosome in male is XY and for female it is XX. Uh, man is considered as heterogametic because it produces two types of gametes containing X and con and the another one containing Y, while female is homogametic as it produces only one type of gamete OA which is having only X chromosome along with the other autosomes. What, are, what is the difference between chromatin fiber and chromosome? Fine network like structures found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cell that is chromatin and thick coiled structures that is chromosome found during the cell division in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. What DNA consists of? DNA consists of nitrogen base, purines, adenine and guanine, pyrimidine, thymine and cytosine while pentose sugar and phosphate molecule is also seen in DNA. What is crossing over? It is a phenomena where two arms of non cystochromatids of homologous chromosomes overlap each other to form chiasmata during chiasmata or point of intersection during prophase 1 of meiosis 1. Next eighth number question: What is chromatin and when it is it observed clearly? Chromatin are the fine network-like structures found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cell, and it is observed clearly during cell division during the time of formation of chromosomes with the centromere visibility. Number nine. Number nine says state the exact lo location of centromere. The mostly centromere are seen at the center of the chromosomes. So that is the end of the question part C we are with D long question answers or long answer type questions what are nucleosome nucleosomes are the loop of DNA surrounded by eight histone proteins and we have to draw the diagram of nucleosome along with the DNA state. that is there in the video so for this long answer type questions please see the video you will be getting all the answers related to that one so move on to structured question E 
look at the given figure and write the name of the each part a to d a is chromatid b is centromere c is spindle fibers and d is kinetochore here sequence of the process a dna double helix b unwinding of double helix structure takes place c formation of dna strands takes place and d replicated dna or replication of dna is completed question number three and four look at the diagram answer the following questions so this is the structure of dna label the parts a b c d e and name the possible combination of nitrogen bases a is nitrogen base b is hydrogen bonds c is again complementary nitrogen base d is pentose sugar and e is phosphate now we have to give the answer number two that is possible combination so adenine forms double bond with thymine and guanine forms triple bonds with cytosine and the last question question number four given diagram of double helical structure of dna name the four nitrogen bases of the that form dna molecule so which are the they are adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. Give the full form deoxyribonucleic acid. Name the unit of heredity gene. Mention two differences between mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells, meiosis occurs in germ cells. Mitosis produces two daughter cells, and meiosis produces four daughter cells. So, this is the end of our uh, chapter one along with the solved question answers. I am going to post uh, the video related to the extra question answers that has been. Uh, prepared by me and they are likely to be asked in board examination see you in the next episode thanks very much